What's up everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thank you for checking out this video. The holiday season is here and somebody asked me the other day what I wanted for Christmas. And that gave me the idea to make this video because I figured I could help out two types of people. People like me who are guitarists and have no idea what to tell people when they ask, and people who are desperately trying to find gifts for the guitarist in their life. So what I wanted to do today is go over some of the coolest gift ideas that I can think of. Some stuff that's useful, some stuff that's cool, and some stuff that will always work for somebody that likes music or likes guitar. I'm going to try to cover several things in different price points. That way if you've got to get something for your little cousin versus something for your significant other, you have some options here. So uh, let's check this stuff out. <laughs> All right, the first thing on my list is this pick punch. I think this is a pretty cool novel gift idea for guitar players. It's pretty practical too. What this thing does is it allows you to create picks. You can see here I've got a few picks I've created. Here's one I've got with Snoopy on it. Here's one I've got with the uh, fire sauce from Taco Bell. So let me tell you how this works. Um, the thing comes with a few different blank sheets of plastic at different thicknesses. So you can make picks of the thickness that you like. And you can also find this stuff at you know various stores. I think you can get it at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. But uh, you can just slide it in here and you punch it and you can make a new pick out of that. But one of the coolest things about this is that you can take old credit cards or gift cards or driver's licenses or whatever that's made of plastic and punch a pick out of it and you can get a pretty cool design on the pick. So like I said, I've got some cool stuff here and I've made a ton of these things. It's a lot of fun. Um, I actually spent some time playing with this with my nephews and stuff too, and so this thing was a lot of fun when I got it. I think that this is a really cool gift idea, and something that's, like I said, it's practical. I've made a bunch of picks, and I don't think I'll ever buy any more picks again. I can make them whenever I want to, so cool idea here. All right, the next thing on my list is this smartphone capo. This thing has come in real handy. Um, basically, it's just like a typical capo, but it has a holder for your smartphone. So you can place this on your guitar, or you can put it on the nut if you don't want to actually capo anything. But you can put your smartphone in here. And what that allows you to do is read tabs or watch instructional videos while you're playing along without having to you know, see your phone or something from far away. It puts it right there where it's close to you and you can follow along while you're playing. It's awesome. And another good thing it's useful for is, say you're completely addicted to YouTube videos like I am, and you want to sit around and play guitar while you're watching stuff, you can totally do that too. So this is a really cool idea. They're not very expensive, and I've used this thing a lot since I've got it. It's pretty sweet. All right, the third thing on my list is a guitar strap. And you may not know if the person you're buying the gift for already has a guitar strap or not, but the chances are, if you know they have more than one guitar, having multiple guitar straps is going to be a good thing. So there's a lot of different variety that you can pick from when it comes to guitar straps. Um, right here I've laid out some stuff that's basically from $15 up to about $60. And I will say that the more you spend on a guitar strap, usually the better product you're going to get. Um, you don't want your guitar slipping around. And so something with good grip on the back of it um, is you know, what you really want to get. So when it comes to grip, leather is definitely your best option, but it is kind of expensive. So there are other things out there that you can find that have a decent grip on the back of them. You just kind of have to look a little bit. And the other thing that's out there is straps with, you know, interesting patterns on them or stuff like that. Um, if you know the person and you see something that you think they'll like, then that's definitely a way to go. People want their strap to look different and not look like everybody else's. Another option for straps is getting something customized, maybe getting their name or their band name across the strap. People like stuff like that too. So these are just some ideas if you're trying to get a guitar strap for somebody to you know, make it stand out or make it special to them. All right, the next thing on my list are guitar magazines or guitar books. Um, I have to say that I personally really like reading about the history of guitars 
and looking at pictures of guitars, and so I kind of assume that other guitar players out there really like the same stuff. Um, I find the history of them fascinating, and here's just some magazines that I have. But there's a lot of books on Amazon that go over the history of guitars or just show you some pictures of some awesome guitars created throughout the years. So I really think that's a cool gift idea and something that maybe a lot of people wouldn't think about. All right, the next thing on my list is some kind of music apparel, anything from shirts or hats or whatever. And that can be their favorite band or maybe just a funny saying or a picture of a guitar or something like merchandise from their favorite guitar manufacturer like Gibson or Fender or whatever. Um, I've got a few Gibson things here. I live pretty close to Nashville, so I was recently up at the uh, Gibson garage and I picked up a few things like this for myself. So guitar players definitely like stuff like this and I think that's a good gift idea. Um, something else you could do is maybe merchandise from their favorite YouTube channel. Hmm? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Okay. Well, if you change your mind, there'll be a link in the description. But jokes aside, um, I did recently update my stuff. I've got some new designs and I've got some new products out there. Different shirts and hats and coffee cups and stickers and stuff like that. So if you want to support the channel, check the link out below. I really do appreciate it. Alright, the next thing on my list is... Oh, over here. I'm talking about decorations for a music room. Most musicians have some kind of music room or space that they like to decorate with music stuff. So if you look around, you might be able to find something really cool that they don't even know exists or something that they can display in their music space that'll really make it stand out. So I think that's a really good gift idea. It may take some searching around, but there's tons of music memorabilia out there. And so if you know the person and know what they like, you should be able to come up with something pretty cool in this category. All right, the next thing on my list are tools you need for working on guitars. I just recently made a video of the tools I would put in my basic guitar toolkit, and that should be popping up above my head right about now. But if you know somebody who's been playing guitar for a little while and you know they've gotten into it and they may not have these kind of tools to work on stuff, definitely check out that video. Um, having the right tools to work on guitars will help you set up your guitar better and it'll make it easier to play and it'll make it sound better. So it's definitely something that can improve a guitar player's experience and I thought it was worth including on this list. Alright, next up we have travel amps and this is going to cover a lot of ground as far as price is concerned. Um, we'll start with something like this. This is a little mini amp from Dan Electro, and several different companies make these kinds of things. Um, and I think this was actually under $50, but usually they're under about $100. Um, they don't sound that great, but they're really good to practice with. And if you want to just you know, take something in the living room, or you want to throw this in the glove box of your car so you've always got a way to amplify your guitar, this is a cool little idea. But if you want to jump up the price a little bit and get a little more quality, you can get stuff like this Spark Amp and other modeling amps like the Mustang from Fender. Different manufacturers make various models that are lightweight and packed full of features. But I really wanted to point this one out because I think this is one of the best practice amps that's out there right now. And it's kind of expensive, it's around $300, but uh, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. It doesn't sound the best when you're playing with other people, but when you're practicing, this thing is full of different pedals, different amp options, You've got ways that you can jam along with tracks, you can create tracks. It comes with an app that lets you, you know, video record yourself and different stuff like that. So this is a really useful amp that's packed full of features. I don't have anything to show for the next thing on my list, but it's guitar lessons. Sometimes people are hesitant about buying lessons for themselves, but if you know somebody can benefit from some lessons, you know, maybe buy some lessons for them, set up the time, take all of the hassle out of it for them, and they might actually go learn something and uh, get better at it. I think lessons is a really good idea. I know Guitar Center has been really pushing their lessons lately, but it doesn't have to be them. It could be anything from just going and getting a number off of a flyer somewhere. Guitar lessons can really help somebody love playing a lot more if they get better at it quicker. So I definitely think that's a good idea. And if none of that sounds right to you, the last thing on my list is a music store gift card. I've got one from Guitar Center here, but you can find these things anywhere that sells music instruments. I know a gift card may not always be the most desirable gift idea, 
But when you know somebody's into something like music like this, they're going to find a way to use it to get something that they want or something that they need. So I really think this is a good idea. If you really don't have a clue of what to get somebody and you really want to get them something that they'll enjoy, gift card is the way to go for sure. Alright, I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope I've given you some ideas of stuff you can give as gifts for guitar players. And I really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, please remember to take a second to hit that like button if you liked the video. And hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, take it easy and keep playing.